that we will not stand by when people began breaking the law. Now Chicago's top cop is defending his officers as well as the peaceful protesters' right to speak out. Good morning, I'm Audrina Vegas. And I'm Ryan Baker. As you just heard right here minutes ago, Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown is defending how his officers handled Saturday's skirmish with protesters in Millennium Park. CBS News Mugo and Digway is live at police headquarters where Brown just spoke. Good morning, Mugo. Good morning, Ryan. Brown says that his officers, he will always rather support his officers' rights to, you know, support these protesters who are out there. But at the same time, he will not allow agitators who join this protest to throw projectiles at his officers or even injure those officers. Now, take a look at this video. This is pod cam video that police officers released from Saturday's protest. You can see a group of people here putting on ponchos and opening up umbrellas to hide their faces then moving toward police. That's when some of the violence begins. But protesters have also released their own video saying police used too much force. Now we know 24 people were arrested, including 24 year old Shandrick Mann, who's accused of hitting an officer in the face with a bullhorn. Meanwhile, this morning, CPD released mugshots and charges for at least nine people involved in last week's lootings. Most are facing burglary and looting charges, but others are also facing an additional charge for felony theft for stealing items greater than $500. As for Saturday's protest, again, Brown says they are searching for those who got violent. I've been a cop for more than 30 years, and the vast majority of officers I know joined the force to help people. They signed on to respond to 911 calls and take criminals off the street. They did this knowing the dangers of the job. Every cop I know would rather save a child's life with a tourniquet than arrest a protester who's intent on provoking them. Again, Brown went back to reiterating the fact that people do have the right to peacefully protest, but he just can't stand for when those protesters or instigators then start throwing objects at his officers. We know that man I mentioned earlier, his name is Shondrick Mann. He is expected in bond court today and is facing charges, including resisting arrest and obstruct obstructing officers. We're live at CPD headquarters, Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.